Now maybe I'll, I'll go on to this uh, tree, which was the main thing. A bit more grade three again. Maybe edge of the roof. Now that you can, yeah, use this side of the charcoal to create some general tone or general kind of, not really shapey, but, um, you know, you can apply pressure to make it darker. When you see this sort of fine branches sticking out, this is quite attractive. You can use this sharp edge of this charcoal to do this. So it's kind of, um, I said drawing, but it's kind of, uh, if you go on to painting, painting is really kind of draw with color. So drawing means up to the tone, tonal thing is a drawing. Um, if you practice lots of this drawing, you can go on to draw with similar similar thing like charcoal but with color means pastel or conte you know you can use just maybe limited color of two or three color use it exactly like so you're doing uh, um, charcoal drawing but drawing with color don't use too many colors uh, maybe sort of if I have to make more series, maybe I, I'll explain what is drawing with color, like charcoal or pastel, no, um, conte or pastel. But the, the tool, the technique you use is exactly the same. It's always proportion, angle, and tone, which is, I'm doing tone now. Maybe some people call it shading, but it's not exactly shade, you know, light and shade. It's more than that. It's kind of, lots of color has got strength, tonal value as well. So include all this tone. So make gauge and then, you know, adjust where the dark is. You can make actual gauge to adjust on this one, onto this picture, and then transfer onto the paper, same same tone you can do that way as well and then at some point maybe sort of you stand back and then half close your eye to see what you're doing but in this picture it's a photocopy of photocopy so it's not exactly clear but anyway okay now that maybe i haven't done this shady part of these trees which is kind of, again, maybe sort of, I'll use angle, which means from around here to this sort of angle, the parallel shift. Remember parallel shift? Anyway, I haven't done that, anyway. 
after here. So generally, it's kind of in the shape. Here, it's a, and generally in the shape. So the, this bush shadow, you know, is pulling onto this. And then some, uh, some streaks, streaks running through and here. And this foot pass occasionally is kind of more sort of dark some texture. You can just do as you like. It's free. I mean, it's like chalk. But in this case, it's a reverse situation. Uh, black chalk on white wall. Yes. Okay. Um, I'll just build up a bit more of dark place. And you just uh, gradually build up. But don't just look at one tree only and all this, and then go on to the next tree. No. You constantly look at whole thing. Or if you make it darker here, maybe you have to make it darker. Same other part is darker as this. So that's how you look. And then that's how you build up pitch. This one's actually slightly overcast, you know, so snow is probably the white, lightest one, but sky is slightly overcast, actually, which it doesn't show in this picture, but are just slightly overcast, because the real scene was slightly overcast. So it's kind of lovely. And then when you did tonal things, especially just stand back, especially when it's big picture, you stand back to see if general atmosphere and so on is okay or not. And then sometimes you can maybe sort of with tissue you can just smudge it to make it a bit more slightly more smooth. So at final point if you want to make something Very, very white snow, you know, settling on a branch, fine branch, and they won't show this. Then you use this something called patidaba, which is kind of a bit like clay, but it picks up all this powdery charcoal and then expose original whiteness of the paper. So, in a way, it's kind of like cleaning up, but I'll show you. Make sure that white flesh part is out, and then you just wipe off. 
to make this white snow even snow white and cream. And in between the trees, you just it's use it as a white, but then sort of you know, yeah, cleaning up. Therefore, making more contrast. light and dark and then highlight this maybe you can just suppress it um this whiteness the snow And also, this fine branch, which has got snow. snow on it. Now that I'm using this um, bit more finer stick to do some fine part. Okay, fine part, general big part, big charcoal, big bare brush. But fine part, you use finer brush and, you know, if it's painting and um, fine sort of charcoal. Final one.
If you do too much, you can modify this tissue paper. 